Hello, welcome to the Maranga show and on this show we talk about everything that pertains to life and today we'd like to talk about something unfortunate that happened in Kisi when the Azimio team went uh, to Kisi Stadium. Uh, it's very unfortunate and we would like to apologize to the Kenyan community because uh, that whatever that happened is unprecedented and uh, we, we request that uh, whoever is involved in the investigation uh, they move swiftly and solve and explain to Kenyans what happened uh, but I'm told that uh, the meeting was supposed to be a women's meeting. So I'm, I'm, I'm disturbed by the fact that I saw a lot of men in the meeting. So our kissy men, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are shaming us in front of everybody and this past month a lot has happened we have seen a lot of crazy things happening in Gusi, from funny videos to violence and we would like to condemn all those things we are not judging anybody but we are saying that that is wrong and please our fellow young men and women mostly men please don't be used by politicians to cause chaos because these guys they love each other they meet after the politics and they talk like brothers and sisters how about us you saw a lot of people were hurt people were injured and that should not happen right now the cost of living is so high there's no need why you should add a hospital bill, a hospital bill to your life. Just because you went to pelt stones at politicians, you were paid 150 shillings to go and pelt stones, but you end up spending thousands to repair your skin, your bones, and pay for medication. Just because you are paid 150 shillings, that is mediocre, that is stupid, and it has to stop. Our fellow young men in Kisi, please, we have been seeing these things in the rest of the country. We haven't seen such in our community, and that's backwardness. We should be solving problems in the boardroom, not in the streets throwing stones. Even though it's in the streets, let us do it in a civil manner, please. And if some politicians are trying to prove a point, please prove it in the boardroom. Sell your agenda. Sell your manifesto. Sell your ideas to the people. People will buy your ideas. You don't have to throw stones or hire goons to go and disturb political meetings that is backwardness mediocre stupid those kokamami games they have to stop please young people I, I i i kind of i'm waiting for that day when these people will call for a meeting and nobody shows up because what they do there is selling lies or they have a good plan, but some mediocre, stupid few guys hire goons and mess everything up until the whole thing looks bad. Because once something bad happens, everything else doesn't make sense. So, please young people, wherever you are, this happened in Kisi, it has happened elsewhere, Marsabit. It has happened almost every corner of the country. And this is not the time to engage in violence. We are trying to set a bad pace. 
for the August 9th elections. Uh, my brothers and sisters, let us be vigilant and let, let's not be used by politicians to cause chaos, to injure our brothers and sisters. Remember, just a few days ago, you saw the big, uh, the, the two leading horses. They were at the IBC meeting and they were greeting each other, laughing. Those people are just competitors. In the evening, they are friends. They meet, they drink, they eat. How about us? We are still suffering. The cost of living is hitting us hard. But them, they live in V8s, helicopters, they leave us fighting. That is not supposed to happen. So please, uh, my fellow young people, let us be respectful, let us be civil, let us solve things in the boardroom. This is the Maranga Show. Wherever you are, please subscribe and uh, like our uh, YouTube channel, share with your friends so that we keep having fruitful conversations. Thank you. And I love you all.